The city often comes up in regular conversation as it impacts so many New Orleanians. It does, and as the interim chief laid out her plans, we wanted to hear from locals to get their thoughts. Erica Ferrando is joining us live tonight from NOPD headquarters with more reaction. Erica. Hey, Katie and Trees. Well, we've been hearing a lot from city leaders about different ways that they want to see crime reduced, but a barber on Ferret is trying to mentor kids to decrease it in the next generation. And we were with him as that new crime plan was unveiled. Okay. Yes, sir. A haircut inside Dennis's barber shop often comes with life lessons. He was a young kid. If you see something, you say something. You don't take part in nothing. Just have enough courage to say, no, nah, man, you're not doing that today. We're because not. as Stan Norwood keeps a positive atmosphere inside these walls, he also knows many of his clients, young and old, have experienced the pain from the city's crime. In third grade, they had this, they had this one kindergarten. He was walking home with his sister, got shot. Didn't make any sense to me. Jay Butler is 13. A regular pistol or something like that, that's bad, but machine guns is just worse, especially here. And the fact that um, these weapons are accessible to younger people is, is frightening. Identified Norwood and his clients watched as interim NOPD Superintendent Michelle Woodfork laid out a crime fighting plan Thursday afternoon. She discussed a back to the basics concept by increasing gun, drug and violent crime arrests and increasing visibility and traffic stops. There's a lot that has to be taking place. There's a lot that has to go on. The thing that did sit out to me was the fact that they want to go back into the random stops. That's the thin line of civil rights violation, if you really want to know the truth. But something has to be done, so we just have to accept the good with the bad. Woodfork also wants her department to partner with groups to sponsor youth events and peace walks. Being able to really get people to work together is the biggest component is that of the plan that I'm seeing. We as a people tend not to trust police, so it's going to be hard to have meaningful dialogue with people that you don't trust. And a big part of the plan is retaining and recruiting police officers, first by reaching out to recently retired or resigned officers. And I think that they're going to make a conscious effort because I speak to a couple of officers who still come. The idea of actually saying people who have a vested interest in the neighborhoods and communities from which they grew up, they take a different pride in the things that they do as far as like getting on to the police department. And Norwood says he really likes to hearing about efforts to collaborate, but he said he really wants to see parents to be a part of that conversation. Live from NOPD headquarters, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.